Scorpios out there and welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a good day or night wherever you may be on this beautiful planet we reside in. Today's video is going to be your second half of July reading. As usual, messages are general so they're not going to resonate with everybody. If they don't resonate to your situation, don't try to force it. Just let it go and kick it a to the curb. However, if these messages do resonate with you guys, be sure to let me know down in the comments. Smash that like button, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel, guys. This would be much appreciated. Alright, so what's in the most recent pass for my Scorps, please? Most recent past for my Scorps, please. Most recent past for my Scorps. Okay. Okay, so what I'm getting, sorry about that, a lot of messages, oh, well, not a lot, but like a very long sentence just came through, but basically the energy that I'm getting is this nine of pentacles energy is like right on the horizon, like you see it, like it's right there, that, that stability, that breakthrough for your finances or just, you know, breakthrough in general. Um, that could be with finances, that could be like a mental realization or like a mental breakthrough. So like a spiritual awakening or an epiphany moment. But either way, what I'm seeing is it's like right on the horizon. It's like right there. It's within your sights, but you're not there yet. Something is holding you back. There's something you're not quite seeing that's going to push you to this nine of pentacles energy. Almost push you over to the ten of pentacles energy. But there's something that's keeping you stuck. There's something that's holding you back right now. And you just can't see it yet. You don't know what's holding you. You know there's something holding you back. But you don't know exactly what it is yet. So let's see here. What's in the present moment for my Scorpios? What's in the present moment for my Scorpios, please? Thank you. Present, okay. Present moment for my Scorpios. That makes sense though. Okay. So present moment, we've got the Queen of Swords, the Seven of Wands, and the Ten of Wands. So this actually makes a lot of sense. Um, basically, You feel as if your back is against the wall. You feel as if the weight is on your shoulders because you see your end result. You see your goal and you're trying everything to get there. You're trying so hard. You're trying every different thing that you can possibly think of to get to that point. And that's putting a lot of pressure on your shoulders. That's putting a lot of baggage on yourself by, you know, putting that much pressure on yourself to figure it out, you know, just let it go, just let it flow to you, don't try to force it, you know, you know, don't, don't force yourself in a corner, don't force your back up against the wall, it, it's not you against your guides, it's you and your guides together, you know, they're here to help you, they're trying to show you, you know, you just need to cut some things out, with the Queen of Swords, there's just some things in your life, whether that's people, whether that's belief systems, or negative thought patterns, or, you know, anything that brings your vibration down. That's what your guides are telling you you need to cut out. That's what they're trying to show you. That's what's making you stuck, is because you, you're looking in all the wrong places. You're trying all of the, the wrong things to get you to this point. So what's in the most likely outcome for my Scorpios? Most likely outcome for my Scorpios, please. Oh, Y'all seen that, right? You seen that? 
Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, cards. Alright. Most likely I'll come for my Scorpios, please. Most likely I'll come for my Scorpios. Aww. Most likely I'll come for my Scorpios, please. They said that one. Alright, so we got the Eight of Cups, the Star Card, and the Magician. This is beautiful, guys. So you are definitely, you are going to get your goal. The star card being in the most likely outcome, you are definitely getting your goal. That goal you see within your sights that you can almost grab, but it's not quite there. You're going to get it. You're moving forward towards your goal. You're going to figure out what's holding you back. I feel as if. I don't feel as if it's a person that you need to cut out. I feel as if it's like either a thought pattern or a belief system that you have. Because, just, because, because we have the wands here and the cups, I don't like, I just, I feel as if for the majority of you, not for everybody, some of you, it is a person that you need to cut out, but for the majority of you, I feel as if it's just like, just like a thought pattern or a belief system that you have that you need to cut out. And that's what's going to propel you into your goal. That's what eventually is going to give you your wish or your goal, your end result. But again, you manifested it. You're going to realize what you need to realize and you're going to bring this into fruition. You're going to bring your goal into reality, into manifestation because that's how powerful you are. Let's go ahead and get your advice card. And this is just whatever your guides and spirit would like. That was a terrible shuffle, but okay. We're going to redo that. Anyways, this is just whatever spirit and your guides would like you to know at the time you're watching this video. So spirit, what advice do you have for my Scorpios? The second half of July, please. Second half of... Oh, Jesus. <laughs> They're like, you need advice, Scorps. <laughs> Let me just give you a lot of <laughs> advice. Scorps need help this uh, second half, end of July. What advice do you have more for my Scorpios, please? Advice from my Scorpios in July. In July, please. Advice. There we go. Thank you. Retreat into nature. There you go. There's your answer. Retreat into nature. Get grounded again. Get balanced. Meditate in nature. And I'm pretty sure your answer to your problems is going to come to you. So just, yeah, go on hikes, go on walks, go to the pool, um, go fishing, tubing, you know, go jet skiing, you know, just go out in nature and you know, calm your mind. Get that, that, that retreat, that balance, that grounding that you need. And the answers will eventually be revealed to you guys. So that is your reading for the end of July for the beautiful Scorpios out there. If this resonated, let me know down in the comments as I love hearing from you guys and interacting with you all. Smash that like button and if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel as it really helps me out. And as always guys, much love to you.